You know, on February 1st, I got my first meeting with the president. I've been thinking about this day before my vote for speaker, because I knew the debt ceiling was coming. I wanted to make history. I wanted to do something no other Congress has done, that we would literally turn the ship, that for the first time in quite some time, we'd spend less than we spent the year before. Tonight, we all made history, because this is the biggest cut and savings this Congress has ever voted for. And it's not that we're just voting for it. This is going to be law. $2.1 trillion. You've all covered this entire battle. You were there on February 1st when I walked out after talking to the President. And I was kind of hopeful, because he told me in that meeting we would meet again. He sat next to me at the prayer breakfast the next morning. He told the entire crowd that we would meet again. But for 97 days, he said no. People look at me and say, why are you always an optimist? Because I know, as an American, tomorrow will be better than today. I had to be an optimist that every day I woke up and said, maybe today the president would change his mind. Maybe today he'd want to put the country first. Maybe today he'd want to meet. But he never did. Not until our entire conference passed the bill. The Senate never did. They took no action. The Democrats' plan was to do a discharge petition to only raise the debt ceiling, and we'd have no savings. We'd take us further off the cliff. But when I finally got to meet with the president, we couldn't talk about the entire budget. We couldn't talk about and look at places that we could have savings. We could only focus on 11% of the budget. But in that 11%, not only did we give you the greatest savings in American history, there's going to be people we're on welfare today that will no longer be on welfare, that they will find a job because of the work requirement. And not just when they find that job, their self-worth, their attitudes are going to change. They're going to believe in themselves. They're going to be able to buy a house, send their kids to college because of the vote we took tonight. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.